Roger out there. This is Eagle's Nest. Fort Storm will guide you down. Over. Roger. Listen up. We'll be landing at Fort Stewart shortly. This is the first Antarctic mission for the Marine Special Forces Recon. Don't let your guard down. Follow your training, and you'll make it back alive. Semper Fi! Go out there and show the world what Marines are made of. Yes, sir! Our mission code name is Cold Limit. Check the mission data on your wireless terminals. Yes, sir! Dennis, I know what you're thinking. I can't stop you from living in the past. But just remember one thing. Be strong. That's all. An old teacher once told me, life is full of pain and suffering. You have to be strong to deal with it. Dennis, don't let it distract you. If I see Cindy, and she's in trouble, I'll give my life to protect her. It's the least that I can do for Andrew. We made these knives for our success in Cambodia. You, me, and Andrew. When times are rough, I look at this and remember that I have good friends. We go way back. We're more than just a unit. Never forget that. Your pain is my pain. Thanks, Roger. Many, many! We've lost two engines! We're going down! Emergency! Grab your parachutes! Regroup at Ground Facility Building B! Get ready! Now go! Yes, sir! What's going on, guys? Game Guy here, bringing you another Let's Play. This is Extermination. Now, this game I have played very little of. Um, this is pretty much going to be a blind playthrough. Um, it's going to be very, very fun. Um, let's go ahead and make sure everything's in order. Stereo, screen position... Okay, that looks fine. Brightness. So that the bars on the right side come back. Okay, that didn't really change nothing. Uh, action. Okay, so the only thing that changes between A and B is, I think I'm gonna go with B because that's kind of the Resident Evil play scheme. At least with the actions and stuff. Now, what was laser sights? R one scope is R two. Align camera and L three. Okay. All right, guys. This is gonna be fun. Here we go. If it, if it plays through the intro again, I'm just gonna skip it. It is okay. We're skipping it. Dennis here. This is Roger. Where are you? Look up. There's a ventilation shaft up here. It should lead into the compound. You need to get up here. Come on. This icy cliff looks impossible. You'll have to find a way around it. Just follow my directions. First, activate the elevator. Got it. All right, let's get my bearings here. Uh, a little bit of lag. do this. Battery pack. Chargeable battery that powers power to electronic devices. Okay. Oh, okay. So... That's interesting. Anything 
anything over here. Cover unit type A, partially healed. Okay. of the level. Totally handy. Oh, guys, if you hear what sounds like a fire alarm, that's my oven. I'm uh, baking some french fries for lunch. So if you hear that, and uh, don't worry, that my house is not burning down. <laughs> it's freezing. It's freaking freezing. This blizzard started before dawn, and now it's reached severe blizzard levels. The high winds. They're making the wind chill unbearable with the wind chill dropping temperature below between 5 and 15 below. Oh no, it's not 15 below. 5 to 15 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, okay. Then that, yeah, for every 5 mile per hour. No wonder it's so damn cold. Yesterday at sunset, the aurora was visible. It was snowing so lightly I could make out a beautiful green pillar of light. This is crazy. Everything about Antarctica is crazy. This whole facility is crazy. We will never be able to get rid of them. Ooh, foreboding. So at least we know we're on Antarctica. So I'm assuming Fort Stewart. From there, walk across the gas pipe to the other side. Just like the way we did it in training, huh? Haha, <laughs> you said it. Okay, now hurry up. You have to find Cindy. We have to get inside ASAP. I'm freezing my ass off waiting for you. Be careful. One false step and you'll be in big trouble. They won't find your body till the poles melt. <laughs> Thanks. After you cross the pipes, there are two places you need to jump. You're more nimble than I am, so it should be a piece of cake for you. Okay. Okay, so, back to what I was saying. Um, so I guess the United States military has a base on Antarctica. And the Marines were sent there. Interesting. I know that, well, I believe there is a, like a world treaty where no one can set up military bases that was a what was that okay fully heals okay cool I know there's a treaty or an agreement worldwide no one's allowed to set up military bases on the North Pole and Antarctica from my understanding I don't know, today's politics is it don't mean anything. I have to jump <laughs> that crevice. Oh, okay, that's how it makes sense. No choice but to jump this one. Ooh! This the ventilation shaft? While I was waiting, I was watching how this fan works. It spins for three seconds and stops for two seconds. But with the inertia, it's only clear for one second. Timing needs to be perfect. You'd better go ahead. Me first, huh? I'll go once you're safely in. You're good at this kind of stuff, aren't you? This is the right way? Trust me!
train tracks. Did they tell you anything about this place? No. This place looks like a battlefield. What the hell? This looks bad. Just doesn't feel right. Your instincts are still sharp, huh? It's kept me alive so far. Let's look around. There may be some survivors, including Cindy. Let's check out what we can. We'll start here. Cover me. <clears throat> no one here. I'll take a look around. You check out the corridor. Okay. That would hurt. Okay. okay. That does big knife. That does little knife. I will say the music is on point though. Was like a heartbeat. Okay, I figured that looked breakable. Lots of fire. There? Oh, what's that? Hold back, okay. Ooh. Jumped over the fire. Small life form, affectionately known as the bug, has been found to excrete a green infectious fluid. It also has been reported that in some cases the creature will cling to the victim before releasing the fluid. Bugs. Nice. Oh, fire. Oh, fire, fire, fire. <laughs> Not used to a controller. God damn it. All the health packs. I'm going to need them. In order to eliminate the unknown life forms prowling around the facility, the SG-203 sentry guns with automatic tracking sensors will be activated at 1400 today. Since these guns will shoot at any life form detected by their sensors, extreme caution is advised. In case of emergency, the sentry guns can be de fully, can forcefully Deactivated by cutting the power cable or shooting the sensor. Fort Stewart, Chief of Executive. Executive. <laughs> Fort Stewart, Chief of Security, Lieutenant Colonel Greg Howard, U.S. Army. So whatever the hell has happened, it went, went bad quick. There's a wire. Oh no, that's got to be fixed. How do I fix that? Um, that shit's inverted. Uh uh. I don't know what default is. We are changing that right now. Oh, that blows. It won't let me. Can I do a custom? <laughs> SPR4, is that my gun? Yeah, it's my gun. Okay. I guess I'll have to live with inverted. I'm on my way. Okay. 
Alright, so we gotta run back. Oh, can I jump up there? I can! I guess, oh, I searched one of the sentry guns. Big old boy. Oh, I get to bypass all the fire. Or most of the fire, at least. That was a weird jump, but okay. Safe terminal PSTS is a computer terminal installed to observe and help manage the activities of all Fort Stewart personnel. It records an accurate state of all that a person has accomplished in emergencies. It can run off of an all person's battery pack, consumes two gauges of battery power. So I guess we'll have to use it's kinda like Resident Evil with the ink ribbons. Yeah. PSTS personal status tracking system. All people working inside the fort are required by regulation to use the terminal every morning, every evening to input their personal data, including their health and task progress. Ooh, that looks like a map. Okay. Hey, Sammy, how many times do I have to tell you? Uh-oh. Be right back. Okay, sorry about that. My french fries were done. Let me scoot back up here. All right, let's try that again. <sighs> okay. Hey, Sammy, how many times do I have to tell you the transformer in the transformer room of the underground tunnel area A is connected to the power circuit of the drawbridge? What did you do to it? I told you to be careful with that transformer. Now the voltage is unstable and the drawbridge won't operate. It's your fault, man. Damn it. Tomorrow, Christmas holiday is now blown. I have to reinspect all the electronic circuitry. Well, out here in the middle of nowhere, there's not much to do on a holiday except get smashed anyways. <laughs> hey, if you want to make it up to me, you loan me one of your Betty O videos from your secret collection. Wow. Wow. What's up? Look, it's a drawbridge. The map shows that the rendezvous point, Building B, is on the other side. We need to lower that drawbridge. We should regroup and find out what's going on as soon as possible. Right. What did you find out? The facility's been ripped to shreds. Something bad has happened here. We've got to stay sharp. You're right. By the way, the computer is almost fixed. We should be able to open some of the doors now. Can you open the door at the end of the tunnel? It's locked. Yeah, hold on. 
All right, it should be open now. I'm going to try to lower the drawbridge from here. We need to head to our rendezvous point, Building B, ASAP. Until then, keep up your recon. Okay. Who would have thought that such a facility existed in the South Pole of all places? I know. There's definitely something strange going on here. Hmm. Oh, hell no. I hope nothing comes out here and scares the shit out of me. Turn left or right? Oh, healing item. Wait. I can't see what's out there. So I guess we have to go back down that way. Which is easy, because I just have to jump back up on that one thing. Can I jump up there? No. Oh, almost got fire. Uh, almost got fire. Ah, fire! Ah. How bad that hurt me? Oh, only five damage. That's not bad. I can run this way. Hacker man. <laughs> then I go boing. This is Dennis. Roger here. Something's down here. I can feel it. Me too. Be on guard. If we can get the power back on, I can activate the drawbridge. A circuit breaker is probably out. There should be a transformer room somewhere. Where are you now? Hey, me again? <laughs> you know I don't like the cold. First you sent me through that fan, and now this? Hey, you know me, right? Remember the gorilla fighters in the fields of Cambodia? If I hadn't been there, you'd be. I would have been dead meat, right? Yeah, yeah, I've heard enough of that story. Okay, when we get back, I'll buy you a truck. It's a holiday here in Cambodia. I can't take this game serious. Whoa! You son of a bitch. Alright, let's. Before we get too into combat, let's see what we got here. Scope mount, okay. Selector. Ooh, okay. Yes. Upper receiver. Ah, uh, no, no, no. Lower upper receiver. It's not. Not lower upper receiver. What the hell is wrong with me? Universal rail, okay. It's a lot of boxes. But you die. Where are you, son of a Where'd you go? You're a one shot. Get back here. There he was. I don't have to worry about him now. Or do I? Where'd he go? Show yourself. Coward.
jump. Oh shit! Run! I'm outnumbered. Fuel drums contain how many flammable liquids? Okay. I don't need to read all that. Ooh. Fire again! Can I go in here? I can. Nothing. 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 Health? Oh, there's a couple of guys there. Wormy guys. Run! Stop following me. Ah, oh, you freaking kidding me? They're everywhere. All over the damn wall. This is you're why we can't have nice things. And there is boxes everywhere. December twenty third, two thousand and five. Doctor Jim Georgeson. Now that I've become infected in my cells being taken over just like everyone else. It's hard to accept that this is the end. My whole body is in excruciating pain. I found out the contact with the water makes the pain even worse. The modern, the water must be accelerating the breakdown of my cells. It just makes me sick to think that, to think of the sounds those things make and that the unbearable smell of the slimy liquid they spit out. Who would have thought that they could be multiplying like this in such a short time? No matter how many kill, they just keep coming. I'm tired of running. I just want to rest right here. Ah, he's dead. Oh, there he is! Oh, he got messed up. Of course, there's more above them. Go away. Nope. Oh, wow. Jumped over the fence. How'd I do that? There we go. Oh, we found a magazine. Nice, so we now have three magazines. No more goobers. No more goobers. Their names are goobers. Well, there's a whole bunch of them there. Well, yes, you will receive death. High tax. Okay. Adoption of a new security system. The data key and padlock system has raised serious concerns. The, the padlocks can be broken with a combat knife or a gunshot about the security of Fort Stewart. The, the Army Security Advisor Advisory, my bad. Panel has decided that all locks in the facility shall be changed to a new key card system. The update should be carried out immediately. The new system is scheduled to arrive along with the supplies on the December 23rd, 2005 shipment. A special security work crew will begin installing and bringing the new systems online immediately, uh, immediately after confirming the arrival of new materials. Fort Stewart, Chief of Security, Lieutenant Colonel Greg Howard. Another rough death. They were munching on this dude. And that's messed up. Gimme. This 
gliding device for train maintenance. should be able to jump from the carriage to the container. All right. Well, I'm going to leave it there, guys. So if you like extermination and you want to see more, go ahead and like, subscribe, and share with your friends if you want to see more extermination content. And I will see you guys in the next video. Later.